हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दी वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन मोड वन प्रोग्रामिंग ऑफ टाइमर्स इन 8051 जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोल इन मोड वन द टाइमर इज बेसिकली एक्ट एज अ सिक्सटीन बिट टाइमर एंड देयर फोर इट अलाउज द वैल्यूज फ्रॉम जीरो 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 टू एफ 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 टू बी लोडेड इन टू दी टाइमर्स रजिस्टर टी एल एंड टी एच एंड वंस दीज रजिस्टर्स आर लोडेड विद दीज इनिशियल वैल्यूज वी हैव टू स्टार्ट दी टाइमर and this starting of the timer is done by the instruction set b which we are going to see in our program now once the timer is started it starts counting up and when it reaches the limit of fffff then it will roll over from fffff to 0000 and at this point it sets high to a flag bit which is called as a tf or timer flag and this timer flag we have to monitor and when this flag is raised then we have to stop the timer with the instruction clear so again for a new cycle uh, we have to load the initial values to the timer registers th and tn so this is what is a basic procedure now uh, this is an internal diagram so whenever tr bit is set to 1 and the timer will start incrementing and when it reaches the value fffff then it will roll over to 0000 and when when it will roll over from fffff to 00 at that time it will set the overflow flag now let us understand the steps to program the timer in mode 1 the first step is we have to load the tmod value register indicating Uh, which timer is to be used in which mode so we know that there are two timers timer 0 and timer 1 and there are different four modes that is mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 and mode 3 so first we have to select the timer and its mode and load that value into the t mod register then we have to set the initial count in th and tl register and for that purpose first we have to count uh, calculate the initial count value once you load that value then in third step you have to start the timer and once you start now you have to keep monitoring the timer flag with the instruction jnb and whenever this condition becomes false then it will come out of the loop when tf becomes high and then finally we have to stop the timer and clear the tf flag for the next round now as it is a 16 bit mode in this case we have to load again th and tl value into the timer register so we have to bring the control back to the step number 2 so these are the simple steps to program the timer in mode 1 now we'll uh, take one example and we'll try to write a program for generating a specific delay using this timer in mode 1 generate a delay of 5 milliseconds using timer 0 in mode 1 now the first step is we have to calculate the count value that we are going to load into the timer registers th and tl so Uh, let us start with the procedure i have already explained this steps in my previous video i will provide the link in the description box here we are dealing with a crystal frequency of 11.0592 megahertz so first step is 5 milliseconds divided by 1.085 microseconds so divide the desired delay by 1.085 microseconds so which will give you Four six zero eight cycles. Then you subtract six five five three six minus four six zero eight, so which is equal to E E zero zero H. So this is a hexadecimal value, and the decimal value corresponding to this is six zero nine two eight. But we have to convert this into hexadecimal value. so e e 0 0 is the required count so in this case as we are using a timer 0 we are going to load th 0 with e e 
and TL0 with 00H. Now we'll follow the steps and start writing the uh, program. Now here we are uh, going to check the output on the port pin 2.3. Let us consider any port pin. So actually we are going to toggle port pin 2.3. So now let us start with the uh, program. Now the first step is you have to first load the tmod register. So first step is move tmod. Here we are using a timer 0 in mode 1 and therefore we are using hash 0 1 which indicates timer 0 mode 1. Now the next step is you have to load the TL and TH registers with initial value. So let us write move TL0, comma hash 0, 0 move TH0, comma hash 0, e, e, H. Then as we are going to toggle this pin, I am going to write set B port pin 2.3. Now once you do this, you have to start the timer. So for starting the timer again, we have you to use set B and here we are using the timer TR0. So set B TR0. Now we are going to monitor uh, the overflow flag for timer 0. So I am going to write jnb tf0 to some label and i am giving the control at the same instruction again so jump if not bit set to the label that means unless and until this tf0 flag will set uh, this the control will remain on the same instruction and when the TF0 becomes equal to 1, this condition will be false and it will come out of the loop. So once it comes out of the loop, then you have to clear the port pin 2.3. Also, you have to clear TR0, that means for stopping the timer. And also clear the TF0 for the next iteration. Okay. So this is a simple program. And again in the last step, if you uh, you want this repeated iteration, so you have to write S jump and give some label and you are going to load these values again. So provide the control over here. So this is a simple program uh, for generating a delay of 5 milliseconds using the timer 0 in mode 1. Now we will uh, see this how to execute this program using uh, kill software so already written the program in kill the same program i have written now we'll execute this program and we will check the output so for that go to debug click on start stop debug session and you open this uh, logic analyzer window Go for setup and set the port P2. I have already set here port P2. But if you want to set it again, fill all in all initial settings and again set the port. Close this and simply click on run button. Now just measure the delay. So if you can see here, we have generated a delay of 5.02 milliseconds with Q. So this is what all about the mode 1 programming of timers in 8051 microcontroller. So if you like my video, then please share the video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.